If you're tuning into this video, you already know that croconole is fun. And you probably know that what's funner is making great, amazing croconole shots. And what's funnest is making great, amazing croconole 20s. And what's funnerest is when you can make those great, amazing croconole 20s, irregardless of the molecular physics, the thermal dynamics, or the relativistic mechanics of it all. Clearly, at this point, you know that we are talking about the drop back 20. Let's take a look. My name is Jeremy Tracy, and along with my sons Reed and Nolan, we handcraft the world famous Tracy Tour Board. If you find this video helpful and entertainmentable, please go ahead, give us a like, a comment, and share. Flick that subscribe button like you're going for a triple takeout. It all helps to spread the word about the world's funnerest game. Oftentimes when you're playing Crokinole, you'll find the situation where you've got an opponent's button somewhere within the 15 circle, but it's on the far side of that center hole. And a lot of players, most players, will look at that and say, ah, there's no 20 there. But you're not most players, are you? Not after this video, you're not. If you've been following along with these tips, then you'll remember the challenge that we had that was called pull the button back. And what we did was we started with the button way out here on the five line, and the challenge was to make your shooter end up closer to you than the button that you hit was when you started, each time pulling it back. What we're going to do with this tip and this challenge is you're going to transfer that skill set into the center, and all you want to do is hit that button and have your shooter come back toward you but end up in the center for the awesome, amazing, funnerest fallback 20. Why does it fall back? You know, I'm pretty educated at English, but I'm even gooder at physics. You have no idea, do you? Not really. I just know it's possible. You don't need to understand the physics, dynamics, or mechanics of this either, but in this tip, I encourage you to challenge yourself to see just how far away that can be while you still are able to pull off that drop back 20. And I can already hear the comments, oh yeah, Jeremy, but you could set your opponent up. Yes, you could, and it's up to you to decide whether you want to go for crokinole glory or if you want to play like an absolute chicken. <laughs> just kidding. Sort of. Seriously though, this tip isn't about whether you should go for this shot or not, it's about you testing yourself to see how far away that's able to be. What is your range that you're still able to pull off that drop back 20? And here are two tips that are going to help you increase your range, increase how far away that can be and you still pull off that funner shot. Tip number one, keep your board fast. And we're going to put a, a link in the description box down below to our video about how to wax your board and what product to use. Tip number two, I want you to use the playing wax liberally, bountifully, magnanimously. Just use a lot of it. The more wax you're going to have on there, the more chance you're going to have of that button sliding back, falling back into the center hole. So there's your assignment. Sit down at the board and experiment placing the opponent's button a little bit further away from the hole and at different angles to see what it is that you are capable of pulling off in terms of the fun, funner, and funnerest shot that we refer to as the drop back 20. From yourself, it's on the far side, it's on the far side. Still going bountifully, bountifully, bountifully. <laughs> it, this is the, the sire, the spawn point, the father unit. <laughs> Following along with these tips, then you probably sunk your tip into the and uh, fire trucks and 